Not that long ago, in the middle of Europe, in eastern Germany to be precise, one political idea kept the country in an iron grip. No opposition was tolerated, and no one was permitted to leave the country, as that would allow people to escape. A large number of people were killed as they tried to escape to the West. All of this to maintain an obsessive idea, a political dogma, demanding the people to be submissive. If you were disobedient, or if you opposed the party, you might be excluded, fired, imprisoned, or you might just uh, disappear. This reign of terror was directed from this place, the Ministry for State Security, commonly called the Stasi. From here, the people was kept under surveillance and in line. It could be enough with an improper joke, an independent opinion, opposition or a general lack of enthusiasm for the system to be imprisoned. People were taken away, without knowing where they had been taken, without uh, uh, knowing for how long they were going to be held, and without knowing if anyone else knew what had happened to them. For example, it was illegal to criticize the state and to have non-approved contacts with foreigners and dissidents. The surveillance aimed to scrutinize everything and everyone. It was illegal to disturb the public order through antisocial conduct. This was, for instance, applied to young people who listened to Western music, dressed in a Western way, or just might have long hair. It was prohibited to express hostile and negative views, such as politically negative jokes, sketches, songs, slogans and chants. But yet, the opposition, the dissidents, spread their message of defiance. This was often done by means of underground magazines, and this was a very hazardous activity that could end up with you disappearing. The East German state had the ambition to know everything about everyone, which is worryingly similar to the mass surveillance that we have in our countries today. In those days, technology was not all that sophisticated, but yet the Stasi conducted an extensive monitoring of the people's phone calls, homes and places of work. The Stasi also had an enormous network of so-called informal collaborators, or plainly, informants. All information was saved in Stasi's giant archives, where most of it remains to this day. And just like our governments apply mass surveillance to our telecommunications and internet activities today, the East German state spied on its citizens their mail and correspondence. Here is a gadget used by the Stasi to open letters with steam to inspect what people were writing to one another. Everything to be saved in the Stasi archives in a similar way that our current governments would like to store data about our electronic communications today. All of this to uphold a rigid political idea and to secure the party's supremacy over the people. We really ought to give things a second thought before we rush ahead further into the surveillance state. We ought to learn from history. <laughs>